Hello friends, today we will be talking about the function of one of the structures of a typical bacterial cell that is the bacterial capsule. Certain bacteria, again not all bacteria, they have a covering outside the cell wall which we refer to as glycocalyx. Glycocalyx is a general term for a polysaccharide layer which is adhering a typical gram positive or a gram negative bacterial cell. Now this a layer if it is very loosely arranged loosely bound it can be easily removed and generally common to many or bacteria together is referred to as the slime layer today we will be referring to a more specific structure called as capsule capsule is different than a slime layer because each bacteria will have a separate capsule which is tightly adhering to its cell wall so it cannot be easily removed so this particular capsule you will find in most of the bacteria it is made of polysaccharide. It may be a homopolysaccharide, it may be a heteropolysaccharide, a sugar precursor it comes out through the cell membrane, through the cell wall, it polymerizes outside the bacterial cell and forms this structured covering which we refer to as the capsule. No doubt there are certain exceptions like certain organisms like Bacillus anthracis is one of the commonly known gram positive organism which has a capsule which is uh, not a polysaccharide but is a polypeptide rather it is made of a polymer of uh, amino acid that is glutamic acid let us focus on the function of this particular capsule now basically this capsule it increases the virulence power of the bearing cell so a cell which has a capsule has a higher virulence power we define virulence power as the ability of the organism uh, to cause a disease. So let us see, now this particular capsule, it helps the organism to evade phagocytosis. This probably you must be recalling in uh, the Griffiths experiment where we used two strains of streptococcus where one was uh, S strain and another was the R strain. So capsulated strain, that is the S strain which we refer to as the smooth strain. It evades the phagocytosis of the host cell, the defense mechanism of the host cell and therefore it causes the disease to the organism, uh, to the host uh, which has this capsulated organism inside it. So these particular organism, uh, so this particular capsule, it helps to evade phagocytosis. So once the bacteria it evades the phagocytosis, it is uh, having more power or more ability to cause the disease. Secondly, it has a high water content. Capsule basically will have more than 90% of the water in general. So it will help the organism in the conditions where there is water scarcity. So it helps the organism from drying up. So whenever uh, organism it requires water, it can count on this particular capsule. It prevents the attachment of bacteriophage. Not only we have enemies in our life, bacteria also have enemies. So we know that bacteriophages, the viruses which infect bacteria, capsule covering is known to prevent the attachment of this bacteriophage on this particular bacterial cell. So bacterial cell which has a capsule, it is protected from attachment of these bacteriophages. This particular capsule, it also helps to attach to solid surfaces to the host tissue. If a particular bacterium has to cause a particular disease, the first step we know, it has to go and find a site where it will attach. To quote here an example of uh, Streptococcus mutans, you will find an organism which causes dental caries. So it has a glucan layer, so with, so with the help of that glucan layer which is its capsule, it attaches to our teeth and it sticks to our teeth and then it leads to formation of uh, dental caries. Uh, certain slime layers you will find that they are also important in gliding motility. If a particular capsule is made of a charged uh, kind of a molecule like sugar uronic acid, so all capsules will have a similar kind of a charge and the cells they will repel each other. And therefore, we will find that uh, the stability of the suspension, like preventing the cells from aggregating together, uh, that is also a function which will be done by these particular capsules. In a broader sense, it is now known that biofilms are playing a major role in the study of microbiology organisms. They are not living, uh, what you call as, solely in the environment. They are living in groups. We are developing the concepts of biofilms. So, in the formation of a biofilm, uh, where many organisms they aggregate together and they stay together in the biofilm. It is now known that these polysaccharides, capsules, slime layers, they are playing a major role in the formation of these biofilms. In these biofilms, the organisms, they are protected uh, from the host immune system, they are protected from the toxins, they are protected from the antibiotics and therefore the study of these biofilms is a first area of research these days in medical microbiology, in industrial microbiology, in various areas where we are trying to figure out 
uh, what is the uh, way in which these biofilms are formed. So in the formation of these biofilms also capsules they play a major role. Uh, you'll find that the ropiness in the milk also we see due to the various species of alkaligens. So that is also because of the uh, what you call as uh, slime which is produced by this particular bacteria. So basically capsule it performs various functions. I'll just recall the few basic functions. It evades the phagocytosis. It attaches to the tissues and the solid surfaces. These two rather increase the virulence power of the bearing bacteria. It prevents the bacteria from desiccation. It prevents it from attachment of bacteriophages. So this capsule is of great benefit to the bearing bacteria. Thank you.